Hey guys, Freddy here, and in today's video, we're going to be looking up some of the top 10 scariest spring lock victims. <laughs> Help us get to 100 subs from this video, and I'll make sure that no one gets spring locked ever again. <laughs> Freddy! Freddy! I just saw the coolest thing on TikTok! Oh no, what it is? Okay, no, don't worry. It's not the Tide Pod Challenge. Don't worry. I'm not that dumb. Something better. I found out about spring lock suits. They're so cool. My father's technically an original spring lock suit, so I guess. I saw so many, so many cool things. I was given a list of names to look up for research, you know, to get my own spring lock suit. And apparently... The really cheap one is like somebody called Henry. What? Is it Henry Cavill? Bruh. Henry McCaster? Henry Winkler? <laughs> are these people in uh, spring lock suits? No, none of them are. Well, I guess I'll just do Henry FNAF. Uh, cassette man over a reason, protagonist, yes. blah, blah, blah. This doesn't look like a spring lock suit. It doesn't Oy. look like one at all. This is why this one's number 10. In this one, basically, he technically created all the spring lock suits. Whoa! That's so cool. God, I had to go through this twice. But the spring locks were created by him. They were going to be like sort of like the Chuck E. Cheese things, except a lot more animatronic-like. Oh, so he quit Chuck E. Cheese and made his own. Wow. That's boring, though. I want to see actual spring locks. Okay, that's why Henry's number 10. So, goodbye, Henry. Uh, the next one they gave me is someone named Gabriel. Gabriel? Oh, yeah, that's supposed to be the kid that's stuck inside of my suit, isn't it? Missing children. Wait, there's children that have gone missing? Yeah, in the game, that's the whole, that's what starts it all. Well, which one is Gabriel? I don't see Gabriel. So, if you scroll down, I think they'll have a list of names. Oh, there he is! Whoa, Freddy, that's a lot of kids. Yup, and yeah, that's the one that's supposed to be inside of me. Supposed to, but it's not, right? That would make things really weird if it was. <laughs> then you'd have a child. <gasps> Does Toy Chica know that you have a child? Buddy, no. Okay. Stop. If you try saying any of that stuff in front of her, I will take away your pizza privileges for the month. No, 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 no. Don't worry, though. You're only number nine, apparently, Gabriel. Freddy, call me Freddy. Okay, Gabe. Gabby. Gabby Boo. Okay. Destroy you. Destroy you. Apparently, Susie is number eight. Who's Susie? Within Chica and Funtime. Wait. Oh, oh, in the books. I would be very awkward. <laughs> Funtime Foxy being a chicken. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, okay, so Susie is the soul within Chica and one of the victims of William. How many children have died? Is this all of them? Or are there more that I just don't know about? Oh, there's a lot more. There's also the ones that are apparently in uh, the toy animatronics, too, that we don't know about. Oh, my God. Susie, you are a very busy bee. Chica, Wither Chica, Funtime Foxy in the fourth closet, the amalgamation. Holy moly. For a kid, they have been acting a lot. Okay, number seven is Fritz. Oh, I know this one. This was the kid who wears the foxy mask. Yep, this is the one. Apparently, I found this out recently, and it's actually pretty sad. So apparently the lower reason on why Foxy runs in the game uh -huh. is because Fritz was the only one to try to run away from Purple Guy. So Foxy's always running because he's trying to run from Purple Guy. That's deep. That makes a lot of sense though. Also dork. Uh, but at least he's a healthy ghost. You know, always running. Keeps your heart healthy. He probably has like a nice healthy YouTube channel for working out. Bruh. Fritz Fitness. The worst thing about that is I don't see that as a bad name. Ah, uh, see? All right, the next one is Elizabeth. The, that's the one that's in Circus Baby. I want to see. Uh, Elizabeth. Oh, and that's the uh, William Afton kid. Yep, that's the daughter. Look at her. She's a real girl. So she also died. Wow. Oh, yeah. His no. own daughter? Well, that's the thing. He didn't mean for his daughter to get killed by it. That's one of the reasons that drove him insane, actually. All oh, right here, one of the machines, Circus Baby, attacked and killed her. <gasps> and her soul possessed the animatronic. She is shown to have drastically changed from the event and is now cold, heartless, and violent. That explains a lot. You know, when you don't have a Snickers, you're not you when you're hungry. <laughs> Number five, big boy, is apparently a person named Fanny. Not funny. Fanny. Apparently, there's a person named Fanny. I don't know who it is, though. Are you kidding me? I think that's supposed to be Vanny. 
I don't know. I was just doing what the internet told me. And apparently their name was Fanny. I think the internet's messing with you, buddy. Okay, well, number five, we're gonna just skip right over that one. Speed round. Uh, we got a Jeremy. Isn't Jeremy one of the missing children? No, I think Jeremy's oh. actually- Ta-da! Oh, Bonnie. yeah, no, that is. Yeah, that's Bonnie. What? Yeah, kind of gross. He doesn't have a lot. <laughs> just Bonnie and Weathered Bonnie. That's so unfortunate. Wait, were they brothers? Gabriel and, and Jeremy? Yeah, I think they were similar in that regard. Oh, William's strategy. William dressed up as Brain Bonnie and lured him into a back room before murdering him. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, Jeremy. Hopefully, we get to see you in the FNAF movie. All right, Cassidy. Number uh, three. Cassidy is the most vengeful of William's victims, being the soul within Golden Freddy. Wait, Freddy. Um. Well, I know it's not your father, but I thought your father's body was possessed by a boy. Two, actually. Two? Yep. Who's so, there's two spirits inside of Golden Freddy, actually. Who's the second one? It must be crowded in there. It sort of is, from what I understand. It's uh, the spirit of both Cassidy and William Afton's son, the boy victim of 87. Oh. What you're saying is the Golden Freddy suit is the best suit to get there. It's got lots of space, room to grow, and it comes with two children to keep you company. Oh, what? what is that? Wait, what? That? What are you... What? what? Okay. Stinky butt say what? I like this one. And number two is... What is going on over here? Who's gonna take my suit? Uh, what? No, nothing, Golden Freddy! Uh, we're just looking up some new suits for me. Uh-huh, yeah. Touch my suit? And I will make sure that you don't eat chicken ever again. What? Oh, but the chicken. I know how much you love eating chicken. I love my chicken. Your chicken nuggets will never be a thing again. Okay, okay, okay. I promise I won't eat it. Or, or I won't eat your suit. I won't touch your suit. Good. Now, if you excuse me, I was having dinner with Cthulhu. It's very pleasant this time of year. Oh, enjoy your dinner, Mr. Golden Freddy. Okay. Ugh. Number two. What kid are we all now? Apparently... Charlie or Charlotte. Oh, Emily. Charlotte. So in the books, actually, she's actually the main protagonist of uh, the Silver Eye series and all that. <gasps> oh, she's Puppet. Yeah, she's also the spirit inside of Puppet. She's also the reason why the animatronics come to life as well. She's the, the one William should have never killed. That's deep. The daughter of Henry. Whoa, you're saying William murdered his brother's daughter? They aren't related. Not brother, sorry. Well, they're like brothers. You know, they were good friends. This is sad, though. Pulls up next to her, and William Afton comes out. Charlie starts crying even harder, and her spirit turns gray. My god, this is terrible. What the heck, bro? <sighs> I keep telling you, spring locks are not nice. It, it looks so great on the internet. Oh, insanity. Oh, my god. You know what? I, I think... The best spring lock suit or the best suit I should wear? Me. The best suit of all. Oh, yeah. In the books, you stuffed a kid in yours. Uh -huh. Yeah, no. You had a victim that went into your suit. Apparently, you have a guillotine oh. in your stomach hatch. Fun Time Freddy was created by... Blah, 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 by more specifically, William Afton. Supposedly to entertain children, but was programmed to lure and kill children. What? Indeed, he was fitted with a voice mimic and a starch tank in his stomach. Oh. Bro, that's a bro moment right there. Bro. Yep, that's why I'm really glad we were only actors. Imagine we were actually those things. <laughs> I know, right? Yep, I'm number one. Yes, buddy, you're number one at something. I am number one. Freddy, the movie, it's happening! Oh my god, yeah, I'm gonna be on the big screen TV. You're gonna be fam even more famous than now. Like, you're famous, but you'll be, like, super famous. You can't use the bathroom without people noticing you. Oh, well, actually, I, that already happens to me. It's called you. <gasps> I'm your number one fan. Anyways, I have found a fan-made FNAF movie trailer. And it's so good that it might be real. Firefighters from three different city departments oh. have been called out to combat the flames at Fazbear's Fright. Is this about Mr. Pepper? To threaten other businesses in the area. What did he do again? What inside it? Uh, he may have burnt down a, a orphanage. Oh, oh my gosh. God! Fire with Specky. Oh! Humana, <laughs> humana, chica! Jeez! Simulation is pointing. Nightmare fuel. 
creating another mystery in a long line of mysteries this cameraman sucks. this family restaurant from the 1980s oh oh bringy boy blumhouse darkness <gasps> hello Oh, that's a nice mustache. Yep. Yeah. Uh, ah. Based on the global phenomenon. Mm. It's the bit. Yeah. Ew, that's some gross pizza. What the heck was that face? Don't think that's Cheek or Foxy. What the heck is that? It looks that? like some thing from like McDonald's years ago. Like one of those, uh, what's that purple guy called again? G Gromit? Grumble? Grum? Grum? Gr I don't know. It kind of does look like him though. It, oh. it does, yeah. Where fantasy and fun come to life? Or like come to die? <gasps> it's Freddy! Freddy! That boy's oh, dead. That's a pretty name. Do you want me to put on a show for you? Oh. That's gonna I feel it's like It's Vanessa! I feel like a lot of the movie is gonna be subtle horror. But so like a thriller, not really jump scares, but just like hello there. Essentially. Just like pop out like that and then just run away like Yep. Oh, that's a terrible idea. Wait, that's Willy's Wonderland. Wait, what? Why is Willy? What? I'm confused. Who oh, am I? It seems you couldn't make it to my show, so I brought the show to you. Oh, well, thank you. Oh. Wait, and that's. Did they just take all the like? Oh. Ugh. Where is that? What movie is that, that from? That's the, like the panda one. There was a panda animatronic horror movie? What? It, yeah, it, it actually, I think there is an actual movie. This is actually from it, I believe. I forgot what it's called, but it's real and it's disgusting. That was Foxy, really? Ugh. Ugh. Five Nights at Freddy's. Brought to you by PBS Kids. <laughs> and like viewers like you. What if he shows up in the movie? That will be like the weirdest interaction. Yahoo! It's -a me! Mario. Oh god. He is the new uh, Nicolas Cage. What if uh, someone edited the Chris Pratt It's a me, a Freddy, on top of there just to make, just like how they did with the Mario <laughs> That would be so good. It's a me. Ready. I didn't know you were Italian, but I have another one. Please stand by while I get the VHS tape. I left it here somewhere. Ah, here we go. Got the VHS tape in. This one is a goodie. This is official. Look at it. It has the green thingy on it, which means it's real. Bruh. This is what you see in real movies. In the traditional motion picture story, villains are <gasps> usually defeated. It's the ending is a happy one. I can make no such promise for the picture you're about to watch. Oh. Hello? Well, congratulations. Oh. You got yourself a job. Oh. <gasps> Thank you. My best friend. <laughs> you don't have friends. They're just here because of your money. Also, actually, <laughs> have you ever done that before? Just chop it up like that? No, I don't think I ever have. I've chopped it up into like finger sticks and then I chew on it. I put like the powder on it a little bit and then I munch, 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 munch. Oh no. <laughs> don't judge. You're gonna die. Also, that's a terrible wait. Ghost. It starts back. Oh, it doesn't really look good. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's the same woman from the last one. Right there, that's the same one from the first one we watched. Oh no, she just looks done with it. Oh. Whoa, that's a lot of Freddy! Freddy! Oh, it is a place of fun during the day. That's when Mr. Pepper shows up. What? What? Does he show up at my workplace? Sometimes. Oh god. You have 
the Night Watch. Uh... Then you see Foxy running down the hallway. Hey Joey, we have an alarm on level 13. Oh, what the? Oh! Oh! Oh, heck no! What the frick, bro? What is it, the Slender Man? Oh. Yeah, you're not getting out. What the? <laughs> Why is there a gun? Wait, what is happening? <laughs> They just grabbed a bunch of, like, scenes from scary movies and just slapped them all together. Oh, God. October 29th. The CIA? <laughs> you telling me the CIA knows about us? They know everything. Don't you know that? Oh, why is she just screaming at the phone? I don't know. <laughs> and then this guy, why, why does he have a gun? What's he gonna do? Shoot the robot? <laughs> oh, my God. Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's. Experience it in IMAX. Oh boy. Wow, that was that was a roller coaster ride. I wonder what the monster is in this one. You don't even see anything. It's just You really don't. I don't know. I'm not convinced that this is a uh, actual movie. I'm sure it's got actual movies in it, but I don't think it is a movie. Alright, I'm getting the next VHS tape. Okay, this is the last one, Freddy. Day. Wait. Oh, that's their first mistake. AT and T. You know for sure your phone ain't gonna work now, buddy. One time, <laughs> we're on AT and T. <gasps> that explains everything. Why my brain is so slow. Your brain runs off Sprint Mobile. But Sprint's supposed to be fast because it's sprinting, like running, like. <laughs> So that means my brain moves super fast. Also, was the birthday song from Willy Wonderland? I think so, actually, yeah. A global pandemic. A global phenomenon. I, oh, Bonnie, you, Chica, you look, you've seen better days. They have. Oh yeah, that's right. The people who are making the FNAF movie are the people who made paranormal activity movies. What is it with Willy? Because he's one of the few actual like animatronic horror movies. <laughs> That's true, actually. I forgot. Ugh. Hey, what the heck? Who was that? Who is that? Wait, oh, I know who that is. It's one of those guys from the Willy's Wonderland. Oh. Dinosaur. Jurassic Park. Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, those kids are dead. All those people are definitely dead. You wanna know what our tomato sauce is made of? First responders. No, not the way you say it. You wanna know where we get our tomato sauce from? He's got it all over him. Oh god. And she's got it all over her. Just That's what stop. happens when you try to find our secret tomato sauce ingredients, people. We gotta do what we gotta do to keep them away from our tomato sauce. Inside the building. That's actually a pretty cool shot. That's pretty cool. You look fabulous. Was that a fun photo shoot? That's not me. What? That's actually from FNAF Plus. Oh, so you're like, what, a plus size now? <laughs> Essentially, it just me it's just a fan made of game, remember? Okay, now I got it. Chica, you look fabulous. It's not about me today. It is about us. And I've got to say, the number five. Number five. <gasps> Ooh. Five nights at candy? Why are we ranking this? Five for being worse and then one being best right five nights at candies apostrophe s <gasps> wait there's a cindy wait wait, wait 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 there's more yeah no there was a whole series of these i think it was like a one two and three oh uh, okay hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on i remember it being terrifying but i don't oh wait i remember now i remember monkey boy penguin okay wait 
Did I ever beat the cat? No, that one was like only appears I think at the end, like the final fifth or sixth night kind of deal. And I don't think you ever made it there. I wonder why. Dude, this game wasn't the scariest, but good lord almighty, wasn't it? <clears throat> it was hard and scary. You wouldn't think these cute little kitty cats could scare a fly. Yet it did. It scared the poop out of me. <laughs> like, I, I don't know what's worse. That the fact that they're cats scaring me? Or that it's just, I can't take it seriously. Uh, Ooh. monster rat. I don't recall monster rat. I don't think I got far enough either. And I've, I've, I'm going to say thank goodness. Yeah. So this is a popular game? Well, Whoa. at the time, at least. It was How one many of the... are there? I think there are three and a, f and a remake. Oh, there's a three. Wait, oh, wait. Fandom. We gotta tread carefully in here. Okay. Huh. Why does it tell me how many there are? Oh. There we uh, go. Four. That's still a lot. Holy moly. Yeah, that's a lot. Look at him. Uh, Look at apparently, that he's, the, he's the god of his... He's basically the god of his world. I don't think you can hurt him, actually. Yeah, you think? Watch me. I'm gonna crack his head open like an egg. Bruh. <laughs> Because he's an egg. Or, or, I'm going to go to his cousin, uh, Humpty Dumpty. And then I'm going to Flumpty Dumpty him off the edge of the wall. You don't scare oh, me. Maybe it would help on the fact that on in his third game, after oh. a certain time, and Flumpty and all his friends did not get to kill you, he basically kills them all. What? Wait, he kills his own friends? All of them, yeah. That's, that's not what... Why did Flumpty kill his friend in the game? Why would he do that? That is not a way a friend would be. That's what I would expect, like, you know, a very mean boss would do. This is why it's number four. It's messed up, bro. Messed up. Not even scary. Just completely messed up in the head. Yep. Number three. Uh, what was it? I completely forgot. Oh, I believe it was the, uh, Creepy Nights at Freddy's. Oh, yes. Creepy Nights. Where you get the free roaming. That's right! I hated this one, but yet I loved it all at the same time. I remember this. We found so many Easter eggs while playing this game. And I don't know. Easter eggs and bugs. If you recall, you tried to hunt, hide under the table in one of the back rooms and found out that it, the longer you stay there, that the endoskeleton wakes up above you and jump scares you. In my defense, it's a very valid place to hide. You see people hiding under desks and beds all the time. I figured, <laughs> why not hide under a table and parts of service? Goodness, this game was frustrating, but all at the same time, rejuvenating. I think, did I like try to run away from you too? Like from Freddy? Yep. Wait, there's more, by the way? There's more? Yeah, there was a whole sequel, except it wasn't free roaming, if you recall. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Hello there. Oh. It was, yeah. it was essentially FNAF VR before FNAF VR. Gotcha. Yeah, this was still at number three. It's not scary looking, but the atmosphere. Uh, the, knowing that you can run, but you can't hide. Made it even 10 times scarier. And then, and then learning the fact that, you know, even hiding under a table is uh, not a, a wise decision. I would never look there if I was an animatronic. But, you know, that's just me. And then for number two. Number two, I'm gonna say joy of creation. Or, mm, actually, oh, it's a hard one. Either joy of creation or glitched attraction. I would say joy. Joy of creation. Five nights at Freddy's. God, this game was petrifying. I've never been more scared in my life. And I, I don't know if it's because, you know, I'm stuck in a room knowing that I'm going to die or the fact that they look like this. I'm going to say both, though. It, it wasn't even hard, actually. Like, just trying to avoid them. It wasn't hard. It, just, it was just... Ooh. I remember you couldn't get past the first night, though, with Bonnie. Bonnie is a menace in this game. It's a menace! Look at him! Yeah. He, he, he would knock on the door. You're like, hello? Oh, jeez. Oh. That's also the most broken version of me I've ever seen, do. Is it? Yeah. I guess so, actually. Yeah, this is, I think, the one Freddy that doesn't have his bottom jaw part. Because with a Freddy, he, he's pretty messed up. But, you know, at least he looks whole. Then we got Twisted Freddy. Wait, is there a Twisted Freddy? There is not a Twisted Freddy. Yeah, this one's pretty fugly. Yeah, I, I'm never going to play this game again. I, I had... Unless you guys nightmares. all say in the comments for him to play the game what? again. No! <laughs> I was not able to sleep for days! Oh, man, this, this was definitely a scary game. 
And what makes it even better is that it's one of the first OG fan-made games. Yeah. And it's still scary and very hard. Oh, yeah. And funny enough, it was actually made by, uh... One of the OG uh, FNAF uh, animators, actually. Like, not animators for the game, but I mean, like, ones that posted up on YouTube. Right, 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 right. I think it was the one that was, like, a Bonnie, but with a uh, with the fedora on. I like fedoras. If I could change my hat, I'd put a fedora. Good game. Scary game, though. Frickin' scary. That's why it's number two. But, number one. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Glitched. Attraction! The newest one! Oh, of the yeah. Fan made games. It yeah. is perfection. It is so well made. Encapsulates so many different animatronics, actually. Yeah. It has literally the widest variety of animatronics, un uh, besides, you know, UCN. But UCN is literally just a sandbox. This has like a story, and it goes through literally almost all of the FNAF locations. It's Beautiful. It's amazing. And on top of that, it is scary as... <laughs> you know the word I was going to say. Yeah, no. The game is horrifying. It is scary. One of the best things about it, too, is apparently they tried to make it connected to the main game by having Vanny be there as sort of prequel to Security Breach. That's true. I, I, uh, I saw Vanny pop out and then Bird Trap is there too. It's super cool. Cause throughout the whole game, you're, you're learning about, you know, this patient, the, the, the suspicious, uh, experiments that were going on. And it's, it's just amazing. Why, why, why are we watching this? Hmm? Just, just watch, just watch. What? <laughs> oh, what no. What's going on? So, and then you do it too many times, though. That does make me a f Hold on. I don't like this. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you get- In that game, you get so frustrated with oh him. Oh my god! <laughs> It's your daily dosage of FNAF memes! Oh no, you found more videos, didn't you? I did, and we're going to Everyone was making fun of me in the last one because a lot of the meme subjects was on me. Good. Are you ready? I hope you are, because I've got a doozy for you, buddy. <laughs> me and the boys making a plan to catch the guard. Oh, jeez. Why? Oh, wait, first off, I know I shouldn't stop so early, but dear God. Those faces! <laughs> My face! And then Chica's butt chin! Oh. I think Poxy's got the best face of them all. Look at that chiseled jawline. Oh. Bonnie just looks like a psychopathic murderer. But it's funny! <laughs> kind of is though. At least in the game. You're explaining FNAF lore and how William killed the children. Oh. <laughs> oh, the police! You're putting random cool parts on your action figure to make it more powerful. Yeah! <laughs> Entered as essentially is that very enough. accurate. Wait, who tries to kill a night guard at three in the morning? Oh God, it's me! It's you! I was wondering why you wake up at three in the morning sometimes. Also, you're Patrick. <laughs> you do not question it. Cassidy and UCN. Now I can finally get my revenge. Uh oh. All the other animatronics. Our revenge. revenge. William Apton in FNAF 1-6. I'm gonna kill kids. Whoa. The advanced robots and destroy animatronics with my bare hands. Whoa. William Apton in UCF. What a Chad. Mike, help me. The little girl is bullying me. I remember he was... Slaughter. Slaughter behind the man. Oh. Slaughter behind the slaughter. Man behind oh. the man. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh god. Manception on demand. Thinking FNAF was over. <laughs> you wish. For Fred is coming to get you. You is for you are screwed. Oh. N is for nowhere for you to hide at all. Trapped here in the old Freddy's. You can never hide F is from me. for Freddy's coming to get you. You is for you are screwed. And it's for nowhere for you to hide at all, trapped here in the old Freddy's. Honestly, you're going to die. There's no way around it, buddy. Oh. I'm playing FNAF for the first time and Bonnie is watching through the left door and I don't notice. 
<laughs> yeah. Tap tap tap. What's the best way to kill children? Oh, I'm Billy. Really proud of you. Oh. <laughs> All the animatronics when it turned 6 a.m. We were bad, but now we're good. Oh. What kind of fool do you take me for? He's Freddy. He's Freddy. You're Freddy. I'm Freddy. I'm, I'm Freddy. I should know about. Me. Deposit five coins. No. No one likes you. <laughs> You guys always <laughs> act like you're better than me. Wow. Well, oh, the other villains in that in that game. You're better than me. Uh, oh. Even <laughs> them. When you use a heater to get rid of Rockstar Freddy. All right then. Keep your Faz coins. Oh. Five Nights at Freddy's. <gasps> Scott Cawthon. Oh. William is screaming for help in pure agony. Old man consequences. Just fishing. Yo, Old Man Consequence is savage, to be honest. You know, he's just fishing in the lake, minding his own business. And then M William is just screaming in the background. Oh, poor man. This is my final FNAF theory. Oh, Matt Pat. You'll never be done with us. We're never done with him. Final FNAF theory. Matt Pat, this is the seventh week in a row you've shown your final FNAF theory in class. <laughs> the two smart kids are arguing if the answer is 27 or 35, but your answer is two. Goldfish. Wait. Wait. <laughs> How do we. I don't get it! Bruh. Let it help my brain! It's not working! It's like an oxymoron a little bit where you think that either you're really smart for getting an answer that the smart kids didn't get, or you're just really stupid and was way off. Oh. You're right. Glitch Shop is pretty stupid. I've met him. Who would win? A giant mechanical monster capable of crushing mm. a child's head with his teeth. Okay. One sad boy. Sad boy. Apparently, sad boy. Snap me. Literally all of Reddit. Oh my God! I will slap you. My voice. <laughs> oh. in my, head. my voice in real life. Uh, oh no. My voice in recordings. That is freaking true. <laughs> That's so true though. Matt Pat tried to explain the entire FNAF lore to a homeless guy outside of his house. Ugh. Teacher, don't eat in class. Can't Kids tell me what to do. The class. Eating? Oh! FNAF fandom, say the thing. <sighs> I always come back. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Get in. Lose That's face, weird. Hand and an arm or draw 25. Ooh. Oh, and he took Awkward. it. Awkward. Dead. I have no idea. Oh, the Sonic movie meme. Fred Bear prank gone wrong, 1983. He dies. By his brother, Michael Lafton. Wait, 35 years ago? Someone's hacked YouTube. FNAF game. FNAF law. Oh. Dude, that's so true. Or draw 25. Is it gonna be... <clears throat> Mad Pat makes theory. Scott Cawthon. Well, yes, but actually, no. Right? Like, you may never get, like, an actual answer. It's like, yes, but no. Also, if Scott looked like that, that'd be pretty cool. Silver eyes. I have them all. <laughs> the teacher's copy. The copy you get. When the oh. Is in FNAF 2. Oh, balloon boy. Going dark. Me and the boys watching the security mm. guard's power reach zero. Ready? Why are the faces back? I want to see if I can make that face. Hold on. I want to see if I can make that face. Oh, God. Uh, uh, I can't. We're going to have nightmares. I fear no man. That's the a lie. Thing. The flat horse. <gasps> scares me. You can't just go around killing people. Sure you can. Why? The world if you could death coin DD. Oh. Uh, and five nights at Freddy's waiting for me to change the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Your frontal lobe operation was successful. Oh. Credit card declines. Uh oh. <gasps> Let's eat. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Toy Bonnie. I'm about to end this man's whole career. When oh, you get the Toy Bonnie. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> he is about to say his first words. Don't do it! Always. No! Inspired you to be a part of UCN. Money! Essentially. Money. Go back. I said go back. <laughs> Never ask a woman her age. Oh, very salary. true. Or Fazbear Entertainment where your children are. That's true. One time, a woman asked where their child was. I'm like, I don't know. But I last saw them in the back, all red and covered in paint. What? <laughs> Give me your children. Girls with a time machine. I'm your daughter. Really? Boys oh, no. No. Don't bully your brother. Okay. okay. <laughs> Only the Chad <laughs> will. <laughs> oh, I love this meme. I love that meme. He <laughs> is left alone in the pizzeria for more than five minutes. William Abdon. Oh no. Ugh. Someone. OMG, this kid is so annoying. William. By F83. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh. oh no. The fan because I'm cold. Everyone else on the helicopter. What? Oh, oh, oh no. Elizabeth just wanting some ice cream. Oh, I want so ice cream. Baby. <gasps> I died and came back to life. True story. <laughs> FNAF 2. Aww. FNAF 3. Ugh. FNAF 4. Oh, oh my god. FNAF World. Sister location. <laughs> uh, essentially. <laughs> These are so accurate though. SpongeBob created FNAF. Oh my god. This is scary how accurate this is though. Bob, I'll go get him. Hold on. Using your guitar every five minutes or draw 25. Oh, Bonnie. Yup. Nobody. Henry watching William burn. Oh boy, this is not gonna. Grogo! <laughs> the creepy rabbit costume tells you to follow him to the dark room where no one can hear you screaming. I do it. <laughs> You're cool. fired. You may quit your job. <gasps> Dave! Job You're promoted to a customer. <laughs> oh, that's right i was never in it what? you were never included in ultimate custom night let me in scott i'm giving people money to make their own fun games i'm also letting them get put on console and make merch oh yeah dear dev delete your fun game or i'll jump <gasps> off a bridge that's true yonder a dev no fun yeah six ending be like this is oh. fine it totally is. When you it's hear totally shots while playing GTA 5, but then realize you're. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! The cover cover! Security breach. The rest of state of play. Oh. Everyone. William Afton is dead. No, he's not. Trap. Well, yes, but actually, no. Oh, I got an endo smash! <laughs> imagine? Only imagine if you were invited to Smash Bros. God. Oh. Wait. Sprint Trap kills purple. Wait, hold up. Yeah, what? they're the same person, I know. I prefer the real purple guy. Oh no. I said the real purple guy. Oh, yes. Perfection. Yet, yeah. mwah. Are you, Are you ready, ready for, for Freddy? Oh. Oh. <laughs> he appears and you don't know who she added. Oh. 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 Dad. Not now, son. Dad. Not now, daughter. Oh, Dad. boy. Not now, son. This is Kids. not good. <laughs> Me playing FNAF 3 and nothing <laughs> happens the first night. Spring trap. Oh, That's... yeah. <laughs> 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 Give me Mad Pat, thinking that FNAF was over. <laughs> Security, Security breach. Your brain surgery was a success. Huzzah! Hard. Decline. Oh, wait, this. Doctor. Oh, wow. Me and the boys about to get rid of signed again. Oh, yeah. What do you think is going to be his new design, maybe? Probably something really messed up again. Because we got Bird Trap, and that's pretty, like, withered up. Teacher. Just keep talking. I'll wait. Class actually keeps talking. Teacher. Ooh, big mistake. <laughs> it's big Bonnie. Mistake. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, he just won't stay down. 
I scream, you scream. Percent of players. Ninety-four percent of players. <laughs> now, now, guys, I can explain. No. You got three separate appearances in UCN. I only got two. Because people like Springtrap. I only appeared once. I got none. You guys got in two UCN. <laughs> 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 I never got the invite. I don't like these memes. These are supposed to be your memes for the day. Not making fun of me. Very chasing Gregory in security breach be like. Gregory in security breach be like. Give me the child. That doesn't count. Watching PlayStation Showcase. Okay, here we go. Are you a fan of scary games? Oh god. Me and the boys pulling up to school on Monday. Perfect. Also, who's that excited about Monday? I came to school on Monday. I was not looking that good. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh I don't know what I'm ready for. We're gonna be looking up the scariest, uh -huh. the most horrifying jump scares uh -huh. we're able to find in FNAF and look them up in a top 10 list. Why on earth would we do that? I looked at your jump scare. It wasn't that good. So I figured, oh. you know, we should improve it by looking at some proper ones. How dare you? Fine. Okay. I can handle it. I don't even know. They're all scary to me. All the FNAF jump scares are scary. <laughs> Especially yours. It's the one you saw the most. People always ran out of power and I ended up always coming to get them. I know. Power out. There it is. <laughs> Let's play it. Bro, this is Whoa. giving me anxiety right now. Because you see that also the power going out. Well, that too, but I just know what's gonna happen. Even when you know. It's like, you know it's inevitable, but you're like fighting it for as long as you can. But it's not the jump scare that really gets me. It's the lead up. It's the lead up. And then you just, your eyes. You hear, you even hear me walking up. That. You don't know if you're gonna be a benevolent god and play the fool song? Or if you're gonna be evil and just stop halfway. <laughs> I'm getting anxiety! I can't- No! Here we go! And, and, and like, not only do you then take forever after stopping the music, but it's pitch black. Oh, crap. Yeah. There he goes. I don't like Scario Cheerios. But yes, yeah, you're number 10. You're at the bottom because you're a classic OG. You know what? I'll take it. At least I'm on the top 10 out of every jump scare in this game. You know what? Since we're on the topic of you, I think your wife. Was hers that bad? Uh, excuse me. Yes, she is. She's terrifying. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> That's just how she greets me in the morning. That's how she greets you? With the beak gone, at least. Why does she look like she's missing teeth? Oh, because the jump scare kind of messes with the perception a little bit. You always look different right before you're about to kill someone. She kind of look like a hillbilly. She's like, ring, 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 ring. You got your measured teeth. Ooh. Ooh, I got it. Withered Foxy jump scare. Now this one, this one's a scary one. You never saw his coming. No, you don't. Look at this. Like, where, how? How does that work? How? There's, there's a fan, there's plushies, there's a freaking wall in the way. Oh, he's hacking. Oh, he's always cheating, yeah. That's the thing that the audience never picked up on was that he was always cheating. He went through the wall. He appears in thin air. Is he a god? Got my eyes on you, Withered Foxy. Alright, Withered Foxy was number eight. Number seven. Maybe Ooh. Mangle? You're right. Mangle. Mangle UCN jump scare. Because I remember playing UCN and she would just be hanging there at the top. There she is. Look at that thing. Just sitting there. Menacingly. Like, why? Why does she do that? It's like a monkey hanging out. But you know that monkey is going to take your food. You just don't know when. Oh, jeez. Now, which one's scarier? Mango or the endo head? Mango. What's so scary about mango? It's the very sharp teeth and the one eye. Uh, wait. Oh, does she jump scare you when the power goes out? I don't remember that. 
I think he just ran out of power. Okay, I, I, I don't know what to expect right now. Neither do I. Freddy, I don't like this. I want this to stop. I hear voice. <laughs> oh, shit! I, why does it do that? Why does it show that it was done? And then it... Mm. <laughs> Number seven. Mangle. UCN. Garbage. Go work at Waffle House, Mangle. Have you heard Waffle House has a new host? Yes. It's me. You know what? Speaking of me... Are you putting yourself above me? I would never want to be above you. I, I'm more off to the side. You know what? There's actually something better. Oh, really? Instead of Funtime Freddy, Bon Bon Jump Scare. <laughs> Don't get one. What about me? What because about me? I'm the actual scary one. Oh. I'm the one that has the moxie. Yeah, but who's the one that sends you off to, to do it? Go get him, Bon Bon! Uh... A beautiful voice. For a... Yay, Bob on! Oh. You think that's scary? Look at that. It's like a little blueberry with a face on it. You can't say that's scary, Bob Bon. Bob Bon, you are a hair puppet. You could be scary if you tried. Oh. I know we've done this one. I'm pretty sure. The Nightmare mm. Fredbear jump scare. Oh, FNAF 4 was a different beast altogether. What made it terrifying? Is that it's inside a house. And now whenever I'm sleeping in my own house, I'm terrified. Oh, no, no, no. You don't look out the hallway. Ooh. God. Like, imagine seeing that in your hallway. That alone is a jump scare for me. Yeah, and then you're just rushed and killed. Yeah, and then you just have no time to serve. Five. You are dead, 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 very dead, completely dead. Ultra dead. I think Nightmare Fredbear is one of the best contenders, top five. Yeah, honestly. Now, I'm not being biased here, but another security breach one is the Biddy Bab. There's nothing scarier than a child faced animatronic jumping out at you. And you're stuck inside of a small little room, and the eyes pop out. There's nothing scarier than that. Look at that. Oh, God. See what I mean? And it's also the build-up. The build-up. It slowly pulls away the door. It kind of reminds me of Jurassic Park. It's like, ah, clever girl. No! <laughs> And you don't expect it to come down from, like, the bottom right corner. Yeah, look, it comes from right there. I think it'll come from, like, the middle. Swiggity, swiggity! The baby has come for that booty. Nothing is scarier than babies. Freddy, when your baby's born, I'm sorry, but its jump scares are gonna terrify me. They might just, actually. Now we need number three. Oh, I got one. Oh, well? I know we already gave Foxy one, but the FNAF one Foxy jump scare. The classic Foxy FNAF one. This got so many people back then. Such a joke, though. Like, I can't take him seriously anymore. I can't, Freddy, I can't. He's just, he's sort of just like, hello there. But like, he just comes out of nowhere. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and we're going to look up Vanessa. The white woman jump scare? The white woman jump scare. It's terrifying, bruh. <laughs> look at this. Look at this woman. <laughs> ah! Like, why did she do that sound? Where are those sounds coming from? Like, where, where is she? Where? How did she get in front of you? Cause you're facing there. What? Vanessa's a ninja. Also, those eyes. I can get to your soul. She really has no emotion in those eyes, does she? She doesn't. She's she's a killer. I think she's a robot. Cause how does she make this sound? That just makes no sense. That's what's scarier. The fact that she's making those sounds, but her mouth is closed. <laughs> Suspicious, huh? Truly one of the finest jump scares. I think the number one jump scare of them all. The one that makes everyone tremble in their boots is Map Butt. You're a monster. He is the ultimate jump scare. The one that makes you think about your life. 
before your very eyes. Look at this. What a monster. You're coming out from the elevator. Then oh, boom! Please take this map. And then he tries to play it off like he's being polite. That's yep. truly a monster jump scare. And the fact that he does it to you three times throughout the entire game. That's true. I think it does it all. Does it? Yep, right there. There we go. Have to get him out. Look at this. He just thinks it's a joke at this point. What's wrong with him? I don't know. He's evil. I don't want him that. Those eyes. Eyes that you only see on a killer. Like a great white shark before it's about to devour you. More like he's gonna eat your soul. He already did it by giving you a map. <laughs> and then he says, thank you. Like... Bruh. So yeah, Freddy, I think those are the top 10. Also, I'm terrified now. All right, I'm not so sure about this one, but you know what? I'm willing to give it a shot. I don't like this, Freddy. I I'm scared. This was a suggestion by Shadow Freddy. Oh, man. So is there any moments that pop up to you in your head about some of the craziest or disturbing moments in FNAF? Oh, oh, I know. Me. I'm the scariest moment. Bruh. I go, rawr. There might be a, a disturbing moment with Front of Freddy, actually. What well, about that moment where I pop in into the bathroom while you're using the bathroom? That's scary for a different reason. You know what? Oh, a, a classic. The Bite of 87. That is a good... Ooh. And of course, someone tries to make a music video of it. Were they bitten? What? There's Markiplier. Let's see. Or was it the bite of 83 now? I think it's 83. I'm not good with the years. I guess there's animations of it. Here it is. Oh my goodness. Is it this bloody? Uh, yeah. I thought it was like a sandwich. Nope. But why is the kid in his mouth? That seems a little silly, Well, buddy. essentially, in the story of the game, his brother forced him into the mouth to try to scare him. But what he didn't know was that the crying... The kid did activate the spring locks and locked up the suit. But why would they do that? Bad older brother kind of deal. Good thing you don't do that to me. I'm yeah. not your brother. Mm, it's okay. I was reading through the comments and they're like, you have two families in your life. The one you're born into and the one you make along the way. Freddy, you're the family I made along the way. Aww. Okay, that's slightly better. But at the same time, I don't want to be responsible for you. Oh, don't worry. You don't have to be. Mr. Pepper takes care of me. <sighs> the bite of 83. Yeah, that one, that's a that's a disturbing, scary moment. Hold on. Game over screen FNAF 1. This right here is one of the more disturbing moments when you see what happens to you after you get caught by the animatronics. Oh, that's you inside. Yes. Whenever you die in the first game, basically, you get crushed alive in the suit. Oh. Because the suit was made for endoskeletons. Not human bodies. The eyeballs is what gets me. Ugh. Ugh. I just had lunch, Freddy. I don't think it was a good idea to eat before this. Bruh. It happens. That's a scary moment. And you're in it. Yeah, unfortunately, I was the main cause of that one. You've got a lot of dead bodies inside of you, don't you? Not actually me. Let's see. What was another one? Oh, oh, oh. One of the, uh, the one in the house. The ones with the big teeth. Yeah, nightmare, Fred bear, jump scare? I think so. That's, uh, that's a scary moment. Look at that thing. It, it just comes out of nowhere. And it's only, it's like all over in your face. I mean, in general, if you see this thing coming, you're not going to live. Like any of the twisted animatronics, they're, they're just pure nightmare. Oh, wait. Now I see why they're called nightmare. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I think I have one. Uh, they should work out Waffle House. No. Waffle House is a scary place. We've heard too no. much of Waffle House. Have you ever been to Waffle House at 3 a.m.? Terrible, terrible things. No. I actually met quite an interesting oh, person one time. That's right. Okay. Scooping room FNAF. Oh. When you get is... scooped in the game. Yeah. I, I just imagine the pain that one human would have to go through when you oh that just makes me cringe like the, the pain like it's scooping their innards what I get it innards and yeah innards. you know they should name an ice cream store the scooper and then they have like ice cream flavors like you know fun time blueberry or circus strawberry maybe if you want mystery flavors you can use ballora because she can't see so she doesn't know what flavor she's getting but yeah no this is one of the best like betrayal scenes in FNAF. And the worst thing is, this is the bad ending, and it's canon. I don't see a canon. Bruh. 
No, no, canon means that this was the true ending. Like, this is how you're oh. supposed to end the game. With a spaghetti monster staring at you through the window? Essentially. Olive Garden, have yourself a bowl of ender noodles. Endless ender noodles. Oh, I know a scary one. I get scared of everything, so it's really hard to choose which ones are like really, really scary. Well, what about a FNAF security breed? <gasps> the map. But uh. the map, but don't tell me that's not a scary moment. Every single person who has played security breach jumped out of their pants and left something behind in their pants. The moment map bot came out of nowhere. Look at that thing. Just, when you're like a map. Hold on, there should be a gift somewhere. You mean a gif? Yes, hold on. Oh yeah, and these guys too. Yeah, but see, I saw that one coming. You don't expect the map bot. The third one at the top, or the second one at the top, or the first one. Yeah, it does. Oh, there we go. Life flashes before your eyes. I saw everything the moment that sucker came out of nowhere. Now every time I go to the mall, if I see anyone giving out papers, I slap them. To be fair, map bot was the one I got most people during that game. Right? I, not even moon. Moon was just slow. Mm, let's see, another scary or disturbing. What's the most disturbing? I think when Afton is getting spring locked, that is the most gruesome, disturbing, scariest moment I think I've ever heard in a FNAF game. It's just the sounds, the squelching. There should be actually a video of that. Oh yeah, get through this part and right here. He laughs and then and then water falls on him. Uh, oh, it starts the, 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 the spring lock. Yup. Gosh. Trapping him like, forever in a suit. Imagine the sounds, though. Like, I've seen so many, like, animations or recreations of it. It sounds terrible. Really does. How unfortunate would it be to be after and then suddenly become stuck in a bear trap, essentially? <laughs> a bear trap. And I'm a bear. And you're a bear. Well, mm. oh, a scary moment is when you come into my room with that angie face. After I've used your toilet. What? About that. That wasn't me. It, it Buddy, was Mr. Pepper this time. Buddy, not only did yes. you use my restroom, but you didn't flush. What? So I'm going to let my associate take care of this one. Your associate? Hello. <laughs> so you okay, didn't like... flush. Uh, what? The, the toilet must have broken i i don't know what you're talking about oh look at the time i've got to go to bippity poppity lock all exits oh god you've locked me shout freddy let's talk about this place okay you know from from friend to friend bippity boppity no more bippity boppities please please turn him into a toilet <laughs> Bruh.